In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I created a fully functional Toast component using interactive components. So to give you an idea of what this looks like, I can take an interaction and automatically trigger a Toast component to animate into my screen and then off of my screen without requiring any additional frames. But before you ask, why is that special? I'm gonna show you the old way so you can get a sense for how I used to do this. So you'd have to have some kind of a pre-success state that actually includes the Toast component. It would just have to be off of the screen. And then from there, you would animate the Toast component in, and then after delay, you would animate it back out. And it would actually require three whole frames because if I simply pointed back to this starting frame, it would put my prototype into a continuous loop. So this is no fun. If I wanna have a lot of success states in a flow, all of a sudden I am adding a ton of unneeded screens just to get that saved interaction to feel real. So what I have done instead is create a single toast component using interactive components that uses after delay animations to animate in and animate out. And it actually has an embedded Lottie file. So if you see here, this is actually a GIF that I have pulled from LottieFiles.com and then I customized the layers to match my brand color. I'll include a resource link in the description if you're interested in how this part of the flow works, but for this video, I'm gonna leave that out. Okay, so you'll see here that in my variants, I have two types, air and success, and then I have four states. I have start, animating, resolved, and then disappeared, and that constitutes the life cycle of my Toast component. And so the way that those work is up here, I have my start, and as you'll see, I actually have a base component of my Toast up negative 48 pixels, so I basically just moved it 100% of the height up and then decreased the opacity. And if we select this, we can see that after a delay of 300 milliseconds, I am smart animating to my second property, which is animating. Now within that, this is where I actually have the success Lottie file. You can see that this is a GIF and I've used this little feature in Figma to change the thumbnail so that by default it shows the fully animated state. Now, I don't want that GIF to loop continuously. I only want it to play once, and so I need a resolved state, which is this third property here. Now, if I click into the success Lottie, notice that the name is still the same, but instead of a GIF, it's actually an image. So all I did was come in here and take a screenshot of this resolved state, replaced the GIF here, and that way, when I set up another after delay animation of 800 milliseconds, which is the time that I realize it takes for the full Lottie animation to run, I then wanna have an instant transition so that my component only animates once and then it stays the green check mark. Now after that, I only have one more state and that is my disappeared. And you can see I'm using this negative translation again here, where I'm actually scaling down the toast, decreasing the opacity to 50%, and then moving it off of my screen, negative 48 pixels. And so to summarize, the full life cycle here is I have an invisible state, the toast slides down, the toast animates, the toast stops animating, and then the toast slides back off of the screen while subtly shrinking and decreasing in opacity. So that's how I build this in my UI kit. The nice thing then is when I'm actually using it in practice, let's say I have some kind of a change happening from frame to frame, where before I would have to have those three frames here to get this toast interaction to work. Now, all I have to do is drop in a toast 
it automatically defaults to my start state because that is the top left property. And that way, this works every single time where all I have to do is make a click. And for each place that I have my toast component, it's automatically going to animate in, it's gonna stop animating and then slide off the screen. And that is all it takes to build a toast component that is fully functional and only requires one frame using interactive components. Hope you enjoyed.